Hello friends! Hello dear subscribers! Today we will play a game called Roblox. I think it will be very interesting, and we should all like what we're doing today. Hello everyone! Today we will escape from Dog Day Prisons! We passed something similar to this mode, but this is different! Now instead of guard, we have Dog Day from Poppy Playtime! Alright, let's begin our journey. The first thing we need to do is get out of our cell. Only she's under the watchful eye of that guard. I think a good way to escape through the vents. Let's run through the ducks to the vent, or the guard will see us and come looking for us. We can't let that happen, because then he'll raise the alarm, and we'll go back to prison for running away. All right, we got from the vents into some room. Let's go up the stairs and see what's coming next. It looks like we're going to be going through some very difficult trials, and we have to be very careful not to die on them. Now we have pressed the button, and we have opened an additional passage. Go faster to find out what is waiting for us next. I hope there's something interesting, because we're running through the vents. Oh my god! Dog Day is after us! We managed to push the button that opens the ventilation, so run up to get into it. I hope the guard can't catch us, and we'll get through this. We're gonna have to run through the pipes to get into that vent. It's a good thing this guard isn't chasing us, and we're gonna make it to the vent. The main thing is not to fall back down to him, or he might catch us. So we were able to run to this hatch and run faster on it, because very interesting where we will get this time. Oh my god, we're in the bathroom, and we need to find our next escape route in the bathroom stalls. Oh my god, we found a way down, and now our task will be just to dig down. It's very interesting, because we don't know what will be under us. Oh my god, we are in some terrible dungeon. Let's quickly pass all the parks that are here. They are quite simple here, and we easily cope with this task. The most important thing is not to fall down, and definitely not to slip. So be very careful so that we can get through this and get to the next test. We are moving on because it is very interesting. What else can wait for us? Oh my god! So it's starting to be a little parkour over the pitchforks, and the most important thing is not to fall into them so you don't die. Next, we're going to have a balloon test. Here we will have to wait for the moment when it is possible to run and run to places where this ball will not catch us. Here is, for example, this place. Now roll the ball and we will run to another place. This is very cool. Running straight to the next level is not going to work, but we are not in a hurry. So now we can definitely pass it if we pay attention and take our time. So we've passed this test and run faster. Very interesting. What is waiting for us next? Oh my God, here again this guard dog day. You need to run past him so that he does not catch us. We probably need to get into this room and then we'll have to pull the lever to open the door. Oh no, he's got us. Now we run normally because we have a door open. The main thing is that we do not get this dog day and we will quietly run near it. This is a very interesting escape and the most important dynamic with the guard. Like a guard has left us and we quietly run on the broken stairs. I wonder where it will take us. Oh my God, we're on some kind of top floor and there's an elevator. Let's get on it and get upstairs. Oh my God, we're in a location where we need to run fast. Let's drink an energy drink so we can run much faster and begin this test. Oh my God, how fast we run, that's so cool. There are so many obstacles, and it is very cool because it is very unusual and fast. I've never run like this before, but we're really good for the first time. So we're getting to the finish line, and I'm really wondering when we're going to run away. Come up the stairs, and then we'll know what's next. Oh my god, there are two ladders. Very strange, but if we have to go up, oh my god, here we need to find a ladder to climb up to the hatch and get out of here. Take this ladder to the hatch to get out of here. I'm sure we're just a little bit left before we get out of here. That's the hatch we have to jump into. Run into it. I wonder what's waiting for us there after all this. So we went higher, but then we are waiting for the passage in the upper part of the prison. There is a blowing fan and we need to run so that we do not blow down. This is very fun and it turned out to be a very easy task for us. Let's go, let's go. We've been through a lot of stuff and turned the pipe taps. 
It was not at all interesting, so we rather run to the next test, which should be much more interesting than this. Oh my god, here again you need to run fast, only the speed is all ready from the ventilation. I really like to run like this, it's very cool. There are a lot of obstacles that we'll need to jump. We have almost reached the very end. I wonder what lies ahead. We need to climb the stairs, and then we get into the test with the climb. I hope there will be a climb with lasers, which was already in the past modes in which we played. Oh my god, yes. This is my favorite test because it takes a lot of coordination and attention to fly through these lasers. Oh my god! Looks like we're about to have a fight with the first boss we meet on our way! It will be a cook from the prison canteen and we will have to destroy it with this cannon that shoots food! Very interesting! It will be very easy to kill him because he has very little health or this gun deals a lot of damage! Nothing. The most important thing is that he will not be able to catch us and we easily destroyed him. Run quickly further. I wonder when there will already be a battle with the most important boss, Dog Day, as it was in a regular prison. I hope it will be real. Oh my god, we hit some slide. We rolled over it. Ho, oh, oh, ho, hurrah! How fun it is to ride on it! I wonder where we will come after such a big slide. We came to some place where there is a lot of lava and where you need to climb again. We ran rather to the stairs to go further. It seems that we have confused something and it is again a test with lasers. It seems that at that time it seemed to us that there were lasers. Now there are actually lasers here and this is a really favorite Fluttershy test. I think we will easily pass it. Let's get this over with. We're almost there. Here we are. Hurry up. Oh my god! So we immediately came to the test of the most important boss of this prison. Our task will be to destroy it with this gun! He shoots us with real weapons, so we'll have to dodge bullets. And let's shoot his hands more often because they are very fragile. The main thing is not to die from his bullets, and it will be very bad. We are doing very well. We almost shot off one of his hands, and we're going to have to shoot another one and get out of this prison. He has less than half his health and only one weapon left. Let's beat him soon, because I want to escape. His hands are very easy to destroy, so we almost escaped. The main thing is not to get hit by his bullets, or else we die and have to start all over again. Hurrah! We managed to defeat him. Let's get out of here. Run to the car, because this is our only plan to get out of here. Hurrah! We were able to escape from here! Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. We really tried in this series. Write your opinion in the comments. We will definitely read everything. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we are going to play a game called Roblox, and I think you should really like what we're going to play today. Hello, everyone. Today we will play in a mode called Toilet Tower Defense, where we are required to protect our tower from attack toilets. I hope we succeed, and I suggest we get started. That's where we should start playing. Here you can play with friends up to five people, but we have the opportunity to play only one person. Let's choose the easy mode and quickly start. The teleportation is quite long, but no big deal. Now we will select the mode and start the game. These toilets are already starting to come to us, and we've put some Kamena main to protect us from these toilets. It's a good thing they've been moving in our direction for a long time, and we have time to figure out where to put the guards and where to spend all the money. Looks like we get $100 for every wave of toilets we can buy protection with. Wait a long time for them to arrive, and I think we should skip this wave and start a new one right away, because we'll get money for protection. We're going to spend that money right now. You have to put a lot of these main cameras in the beginning, and at the end, we only have enough money, and I'm afraid we can't handle these waves and lose but we will hope for the best. Damage is now dealt very well because one Manx chamber deals damage at the beginning and then at the end it is dealt by the second Manx chamber. This is very cool and we are already going very well. The main thing is that our money is well deposited and we pump the defenders. Oh my God, looks like we're about to take our first hit on our tower because there's been a lot of damage free toilets and our protector can't kill them all in one hit. We have to think of something. Oh no, not that. There's the first damage on our tower. It's very sad. 
because it's only two waves and we have to survive 20. We're not gonna be able to handle them all because they're gonna break our heads. All right, let's go on the next wave and try to get another quarterback to help the first man kill the toilets. Now there's a little chance they can kill these toilets. Now we'll see about it. Hurrah! Our guards are doing that. And now we'll have money from killing toilets. Only after all this, there are still some toilets that have managed to pass our defenses and now will damage the tower. It's okay. I think it won't be so critical. Keep playing and now we'll have to launch the next wave, which we will definitely have to cope with, especially cameraman. They have become somehow too many. There are already about 40 of them and that is quite a lot. I'm afraid that our guards will not be able to handle this task and that we will soon lose this round. Well, nothing if we start a new one. We have to think how to make money. If we miss the waves, we will get some money, but also go immediately dangerous wave. I hope it will be very good and we will accomplish our task. So they go to the toilets to us. Hope that now our defense can beat this wave and we make some money. Otherwise, we will lose our tower and cannot pass this test. We need to come up with something urgently. We are going very badly. Our protection does not cope even with small toilets, so we need to urgently think about what to do. Now we have the money, and we need to put in another Manx camera to strengthen our defense. I think we can survive this wave and definitely go further, only we have very little protection. It is necessary to urgently either download our camera main or put them much more. I think that there is not enough time to accumulate a lot of money. There's too many of them, and our defense team can't handle them at all. Gone are already very large toilets that have a lot of health, and our defenders do not deal almost damage on them. You have to think to win. It looks like we have to run the next test. Even changing the mode does not help us to cope with them. Last Hope is only the last of our protection, which stands at the very end. But I think that she too will not cope with them, and we will have to launch the next game. What a pity. Our last hope is to launch the final wave, which will give us money and we will put another cameraman. I hope that they will help us very much and become decisive. It seems that our affairs are very bad and our defenders kill them very little. We're starting a new game. We're in a lighter regime and I think the best solution is to spend it wisely. So now we will put a lot of protection at the beginning so that the toilets immediately take damage while we save money for the next defenders. We also need to try to pump these Manx cameras so they can do more damage and we can get at least further than we had before. That time we chose too difficult for us. With the first wave, our defenders are doing very well and I think it will be possible to start the next wave so we have a little more money. With that money, we'll get another guard to help us. Just think about when to pump our defenders. First, you have to place at least half the way a Manx camera so that they inflict a lot of damage altogether than one very much. I'm starting to like this game compared to the next because it's already going better and these toilets don't even get to the end and die immediately on our defenders. They're very good at their job. We have earned enough money already and I think we have definitely coped with this regime and must win. The main thing is not to make hasty decisions. We've saved up enough money to get another Manx camera. We are launching the third wave to improve the situation on our line. We need more guards to eliminate these toilets. So we get the money from the next wave and add more. Went some pretty sophisticated robot toilets and they have a lot of health. I'm afraid we can't handle them and we have to think about pumping our mana camera. We're saving more money to do something to win. Some robot toilets pass on and some remain with little health. This is very bad because again, we have a critical situation that requires a lot of money to fix it. Now we will save all the money for the pumping of our cameraman because the number will not change the number of large toilets. It is necessary to spend all the money on the pumping and then we definitely will not cope with the task set for us. We have a very critical situation. We have very little money, and our defenders cannot kill anyone to get money. The next wave is very dangerous to launch because it cannot help us. We need to urgently think about what to do next. Our defenders deal critically little damage, and it is definitely not for us. 
The next time, you should have pumped our defenders from the beginning so that they could definitely handle such robots because they are completely weak. Now, we'll probably have our last chance because we have no choice, because we get no money at all, except the waves themselves. I hope we can handle this money crisis and kill all the toilets. Now our tower will be the first damage, which will be very strong because there are a lot of robots of toilets that will cause too much damage to our tower. There should also be some defenders. Man's camera is good, but you have to pump it. There are a lot of them, but luckily they deal as much damage as they should because it's easy mode. But this does not change the situation. We have very little money and we need to figure out how to get it. The defenders of the tower cannot kill robots and launch the next wave is not profitable. Okay, we've launched the final wave and I don't think we can handle it. This is a losing game and we need to practice and play this game again in the next series. This one was also very cool and we tried to play this game. Here we have very little health left on the tower and now we will lose. We have no choice, so end today's series. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. Today we have an unusual adventure in the game Cheese Escape. Here we will have to steal cheese from the big mouse. And until we find all the cheeses, we will not pass this game. I think it will be scary and interesting. Hello. Is it possible that we are back in this beautiful game, Roblox? I love it so much, I am ready to play it forever! Fluttershy, you found a very interesting game that I can't wait to play. I hope that in this series we will succeed and we will pass this game completely. By the way, I am very afraid of mice, so I will be harder! Ha <laughs> ha! Hello everyone, nice to see you all playing at Roblox. It's just wonderful that today we will be playing an interesting mouse escape. We will definitely beat you and pass this game. Let's get started. Hello, let's get up to speed on the game. Now we are in save zone, but if we go out, the mouse will start hunting us. In this big maze, we need to find cheese. It could just be lying on some table or maybe in some room that still needs to get to. Let's study this maze. Hooray, we found the first cheese out of nine pieces. Only a mouse could find us and kill us. So now we start at the beginning of the maze. It is good that the cheese stays with us even when the mouse catches us. We continue to go on. We have found one cheese. Now we need to look further. Wow, the mouse is right next to us, but we are in the save zone. It can't catch us, ha ha. Hurry up and make a right. See if there's any more cheese. Oh my God, there he is. We have already found two pieces of cheese, but we need to find seven more pieces. Let's hurry to look for them. Here I noticed some wires and a closed door. We should probably unlock the room with a red key and activate some mechanism. Run on, there are some strange passages through which the mouse is unlikely to pass. This can be a secret passage so that we are not killed by a mouse. In the meantime, we have found three pieces of cheese as well as some strange door. I wonder how to open it. We should probably pick up all the pieces of cheese and then we'll open it up and play the game. I found some strange passage and there is another piece of cheese. Now we have four. Oh my God, found some ladder with a green key. We'll pick up the key and go upstairs. I wonder what could be there. Wow, there are some tunnels as well as another piece of cheese. We already have more than half. We are just a little bit left. There is still a door to which you need a blue key. Let's find it. Oh my God, there's another door that requires a gray key. Very interesting, what is there? There's also a button that appears to activate the same closed door that leads to the wires. Well, there was no further way. So we jump down and continue looking for passages. We need to go through the green door in case we find something interesting there. Oh, and I love such puzzles very much. We need to understand the combination of numbers that are drawn on the wall. First we try to enter them in order, and then we try just a random combination. Nothing fits, so we only have to try the combination from the bottom up. That is 3842, so it worked. Now our task 
is to go through some tunnel. Hopefully there will be another piece of cheese, which will be already six of nine. There are some lamps and a very dark atmosphere. We go very slowly and it will be long, but here is also quite beautiful. The game of light is at the highest level and I like to be here. I think we're almost there because the music is starting to play a little. Oh my God, hurrah! We managed to get here and I can already see the red key and cheese. Let's start with the cheese. Oh my God, as soon as I took it, I was moved to some cliff that leads to the blue key. Looks like we have to finish this beam. Let's go back for the red key. It's a good thing I remembered the way to this place. All we have to do is climb up here, then jump off a cliff and run to a door that needs a green key. I hope there is no need to run so slowly to this place again. We only need from there a red key, but also you can try to take lemonade. All right, let's go through that door and see if we can get the red key. Oh my God, here it is finally possible to run faster, but also interesting, where is the same place with the red key? Oh, here it is, let's quickly pick up the red key and lemonade. Wow, here's some door opened. Let's go in there and see what it is. Oh my God, there's a parkour here and we'll probably get another piece of cheese when it's done. If we pass, we'll only have to find two pieces of cheese. I hope we can handle this parkour because we are ponies and we have any parkour easy. There are very thin sticks here and my character can't hold on to them. You have to come up with something to get through it. Let's try the first person approach now because it's easier to control in Roblox. By the way, viewers, you too, I advise you to use this method for example in Obby. Now I show you how easy it is to pass this parkour. There are a few moments with such thin beams, but we will still pass it the first time. Yay! We got the coveted seven cheese and we only have to find just two more pieces. It will be quite simple because I know what to do. Now we will run to the red room and see what is so interesting that will help us with the passage. Oh my God! After that parkour, we are again on this broken bridge that leads to the blue key. That's where the room is! Oh my God! There's that plank that's missing from that bridge. Now let's run over there and put that plank down. Too bad there wasn't another slice of cheese, so we'll have to find another slice somewhere. All right, let's run back to that place. All right, here we go. Let's get that blue key. Oh my God. It's so fast, everything is on display, and it's very good. Now we take this key and rather run to the place where the same button is. I want to open that door already. Okay, let's run past where the cheese was and open the blue door. Hurrah! There's another piece of cheese here, and it turns out that now we're going to open the door to which the wires lead, and we're going to pass this game. Hurrah! Hurrah! We have a limited amount of time, so we need to make sure the mouse doesn't catch us in the meantime, or we're gonna have to run all over the place we found. Hooray, that's the passage we opened. Oh my God, that's the last piece of cheese. I mean, we were able to put together all the pieces of cheese, and now we just have to find that door that only opens when we've got nine pieces of cheese. Hooray, I'm so glad we were able to pass this game so quickly. It's a good thing I remembered where this door is. We need to run a zigzag maze, and we're about to hit that door. It remains only to go there, and it will be the end of the game. Hurry up and run there. Hurrah! Write that this is the end of the game. We are great people that pass this game. I wonder what will happen next. Now it turns out we can finally escape from this mouse because the game is called Cheese Escape, which means we need to escape from here. Run down this dark street then and now we can escape. Very interesting. Where can we escape from here? I hope there will not be this mouse. I hope you like this series, subscribers. We finished this game. Oh my God, there's this rat and it looks like it's not the end. And there's the second part of this game but we're not going to play it today and we're going to continue in the next episode. Likes it. See you soon. Hello, friends. Hello, our favorite followers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. We definitely chose the game Residence Massacre because it is very scary and is also a small puzzle that we love so much. Hello. Oh my God. Don't you want to play scary games? I've had enough puppy playtime. All right. Well, since we're already running the game, we need to figure out what to do in this game.
game. It's the first I've heard of her, and I'm very interested to meet her. Hello? We have already appeared in the first game and need to definitely get used to it. We don't know what to do here or why, so we probably won't be able to get through the first try. The clues say we have to go home, so now we're going to run there to find out about a new clue. I greet all viewers. We are already playing our new game, which we have never been. Now we run to the house to learn the next clue that will be very useful for us to pass this game. She's not as scary as I thought, so it's great. Our task after entering the house was to turn on the radio. Looks like it will now give us important information that we need to hear and understand. While the radio says something, we should probably go to our rooms and look around, see if we find anything important. First place we found a nightstand with a battery and a flashlight. Continue on through the house. I found light switches that will light our house in the night. Turn on the whole house in advance so as not to run around at night and look for these light switches. Ha ha! There are so many rooms, I'm already confused about them. If we could find another way to the second floor, we'd better get back to the radio. The radio says something, but I do not understand it much. They tell legends about a man who lived in this house. Very strange. I wonder if you can get into the vent. Damn. I wish I could. I would hide from the monsters at night, if there were any. Hurrah! I found a wrench that we don't know what it's for. Okay, and our screens have a menu with clues to what to do. You can put cameras, you need to keep the generator fueled, collect the loot, watch the light, and build barricades on the windows. This is very interesting and I finally realized why I need a wrench. Most likely to fix the light. You should try to see if you need this wrench for anything else. Can you open them ventilation as well as much more? If you cannot, then you can continue to look around the house. There is a closet, which is likely to hide from monsters. So I finally found the stairs to the second floor. Let's see what's there. We go up a straight and uncomfortable staircase and get to the second floor. There's a room with a bed to sleep in and survive. There's also a computer with cameras that we don't know much about yet and don't know how to install them. Okay, it's okay that there are no cameras. I think we can survive against the monsters anyway. There's also a closet on the second floor where you can hide, which is good news. He's not the only one in the house. Just here are immediately obvious boards with which you can build a barricade on the windows. It remains only to figure out how to build them here. Maybe you need to come closer and press the hammer on the window. Oh my god! It should be! I'm brilliant! You have to do this with a lot of windows in the house so the monsters don't exactly get in the house. I wonder if there will be several of them or a single monster. So, it turns out in our room we made barricades and now we can go into the corridor, for example. There we will make a couple more barricades and we'll continue to look around. After all, it is almost night and we have not studied this house. If you walk down the hall, you can go to the toilet. It does not function, but there will be a place to hide from the monster. So, we went to sleep and now our task remains only to survive! We set up the barricades, loaded the flashlight, but we forgot to refuel the garage and now we have to get there! We also have no light and need to go to the meter and fix it! It is quite scary to walk around the house, knowing that the monster can come. The meter is behind the house, and I hope this monster isn't there, and we can fix this meter in peace. You have to take the key in your hand and press the wire that sparks. Oh my god, not everything comes out the first time, but the second time we had the lights on in the house. Hurrah! Hurry home before the monster catches us. Oh my god, something is happening with the screen. It looks like this monster is nearby. Hide at home and need to close the door so that it does not pass. Oh my god, he went through it and killed us! It is a pity that he killed us. Our task now is only to start a new game, which we did. There are a lot of different functions, but apart from filling the generator and fixing the light, we didn't understand anything. Let's try again, this time with the generator. We can close the closet, so this time we'll try it if he's home. And so we will run from it. We need to find more loot in this house. Immediately we found a battery for the flashlight, but we need more loot. 
So let's go to the second floor. See if there's anything there. Rising to the second floor immediately catches the eye of the open cabinet, which is exactly the energy, as well as a wrench, which is needed to fix the light. Let's hurry up and take all this and go build barricades. We also need to understand how the cameras are made here. Like everything else we know and do from this list, we didn't find anything interesting in the bathroom, so we're going to run to the main room, where there's a computer and a bed, and we're going to take the planks to build barricades. You also need to remember to run to the garage and fill the generator with gasoline. It will be very bad. Take a piece of wood and start building a barricade. It will be very long and painful. It'll take us a few minutes, and for you, an instant, as we complete the barricades in the house. We only had enough for the second floor and not all the windows because there were not enough boards. We'll probably go to bed and try to survive at night. The night is here and we need to see if the lights are working in the house. Oh, I accidentally drank an energy drink and now I have a very strong energy for a short time. I had to use it while running away from this zombie. Well, at least the lights work in the house. The only thing that pleases. So, on the first floor, you need to turn on all the lights to navigate the house. It is also said that this zombie is frightened by the light in the house, so he turns it off. Now we only have to wait for something that will prevent us. Oh my god, the lights in the house are out. It's so scary here. Let's run and fix the lights, or we won't be able to do it without him. It's a good thing we have a wrench to fix this light. Okay, we're gonna fix this meter and get the lights back on. We've been through this. Then we have to run to the garage and refuel the generator, thanks to which you do not know what is happening. Run! Oh my god! It's a zombie! Run away from it sooner! How bad it is that I drank an energy drink that would let me run faster! Oh my god! What a pity we were killed again and those two games we never finished. The end of the first series of this game in Roblox. I hope you liked our reasoning and how we behave when zombies appear. It was very exciting and we will definitely come back here again. With you, we're little ponies. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. Today, we will play with you in a game called Roblox. In this game, there are many different modes that we will try in the future, but today we have a special game. We will pass the obby parkour from the first person, and plus, we will escape the guards. Hope that will be very exciting. Hello, everyone! Hurrah! We'll be playing Roblox again! Wow, what a scary guard in this game! I hope we can defeat him and escape this prison! I also hope that it will be quite easy, because we are going through it for the first time, and we will definitely not be able to do it simply because we do not know how to do it all. All right, I love the beginning of this game. So, girlfriends, hello everyone. We are all glad that we continue to play in Roblox and invite you not to delay, but to begin to pass this game. Click now on play and choose the game mode. We have only easy and it is very good. And now we will probably be able to pass it all. Well, let's get going or we won't be able to fit it all in one episode. Hello, everyone. Most likely here at the beginning, you need to run arrows. They show that you need to climb on the pipe and run towards the ventilation. Here are very much interfering players. Why not make them transparent to be easier to pass? So we got into the ventilation, ran rather on it to explore the spaces of this prison. I hope that we will have good adventures. So we got into some section where there's a lot of pipes and stuff. There's some button. Let's push it. Oh my god. Something's come up here. We need to find it. Oh, it's some platforms that we're going to have to jump on until the next stage. I hope that there will be something interesting waiting for us, which will be difficult for us. So, we were given a wrench and very interesting, where we will now get to the next thing. We're going through the vent, and we're probably going to sneak into a place where all the guards are, because I can already hear them. Oh my god, here they are. They are so funny. I really like them. The main thing is that they do not catch us and everything will be fine. Okay, now we need to push the button and get the guard to the top floor. There, we'll have to jump on the pipes and run them to the vent that we opened on the button. I hope he doesn't follow me through the pipes. 
but stays on this top floor. He's so funny. I'm sorry he's so angry. I'd like to make friends with him. Thanks to this vent, we've already penetrated some toilet where we found this underground passage. There was a shovel nearby, and now we will quickly have to dig a passage, but so the guards do not notice us before time. Oh my god! We hit some scary dungeon where we have to go through the parkour and not burn in lava. It is very scary here. I hope that this fear will not prevent us in the further parkour. Now our next challenge is to run through this rolling balloon. We're gonna have to go to places where he doesn't hit. And we're gonna have to keep an eye on him so he doesn't run us over. This is a fairly simple task. So we are not fast, but very easy to handle this task. I really love going through these trials, and I hope there will be more of them than usual in the next series. Out of this dungeon we have climbed, and now our task is to pass the tests with high speed. We had a drink, and now we have to jump through all these obstacles, and we'll move on to the next level. This is a fairly simple task, because we are already very fast, and there is even very little speed for us, and we will now easily pass this test. The next test we're going to do is walk down the block and with a fan. We may just blow away from here, but we'll try to stay here and not fall down. So far we've got our first try, and we haven't screwed up this whole prison break. I hope that when you die, you don't show up at the beginning of these trials, just the one you left out the last time. Okay, now this is where we had to jump through the parkour and get to a place where we needed to shut off the air. Because if we hadn't blocked them off, we would have just lost our way, and we wouldn't have been able to go any further. So we have already found all the valves and shut them down and now quietly go on the tests. We are going very well, and I do not like it. Looks like the trials are about to get harder than this. Next, we're going to have a test that is very similar to the past, where we ran fast. Only here you cannot turn, and you only need to jump at the right moment. It's even easier than it was last time, and it's very good that we're doing all right in these prison trials. It's been a while since we've seen the guards. I miss their funny faces. Okay, now we're in a big air duct that looks like we're gonna get into a little vent that we're gonna go through. Let's try quickly. I think that it will be very fun to fly in this huge airway. Ooh, how cool it is here. Run faster. Looks like we're about to have some kind of battle with the boss, because I can already see a weapon in the distance, and I can see the cook running at us. Let's go get the bazooka that shoots the food and kill that chef! He's got a lot of lives, and I hope he can't kill us easily, and we can handle him with ease. Basically, we have a cool bazooka that helps us a lot, and now in a few strokes, we can break it. He's so funny. Just like those security guards who come around the cameras. Okay. Now we're in some weird place where we need to get metal boards and use them to move across platforms to the door. I think we just need one thing, because you can just cross it, then take it, and put it on the other side. It is very funny that you can facilitate the game in this way. I wonder what is waiting for us behind this door. Right now, we're gonna see what's behind that door, and all we need to do is finish this metal board thing. There's not much left. Oh my god! What is this big robot, and what do we need to do with it? We don't even have any weapons to win it. Hopefully we'll get it at least, or we'll have to find it. He's so scary and strong. I'm so scared. Here, we have a bazooka now! Just the same one we used against the cook! Let's get him out of his hands quick, or he's gonna shoot us, and we're gonna lose to that robot! And we're not far from the end of this prison break! Let's try very hard, or else our efforts which we have done in all trials, will go nowhere. Hooray! We beat that scary robot and now we have to think where to go from here. We'll probably have to take a car and drive far away. There's a SWAT car nearby and we can get out of here. I really like the way this game is designed and I'm really glad we played it and went through it all. Now all we have to do is get the hell out of here. Here we are approaching some mountains and it looks like we're gonna have to hide there. There must be less good conditions for us to survive, as well as not to be found by the police, who will definitely look for us. Although they are very fat, and therefore will not be long to run before us, and we can escape from them with ease. So, there's some kind of pipe climb, and we're gonna have to climb up. It will be a fairly simple task, 
because today we have seen a lot of difficult tests and could easily pass this game. Breaking out of prison is a fairly simple task and we've dealt with it. I have enjoyed fully all the trials that have come our way and I want to soon come back here again to pass the trials much more difficult than me. Here we are in the helicopter and this is the final part of this prison escape. We have enjoyed all these challenges so we suggest you to play this game. If you like this Roblox series, then like and write your comments. Also, subscribe to our channel. With you were my little pony. Until early me- Hello. Hello, dear followers. Today, we continue to play at Roblox, and today we will have one of the scariest games in Roblox. It's called Apirophobia, and it's very scary. There are many different locations that are very beautifully made, as well as many scary characters that will from time to time scare us. Hello! I am very much afraid of horror stories. You will support me and soothe me? Cause I might just faint in fear and not make it with you. Let's stick together in this game and play calmly. I think it's gonna be a lot better than everyone doing their own thing. Hello! We are already entering this beautiful game! Ha ha ha! I love horror stories and I'm ready to help you with anything! because I'm not afraid of monsters and I can safely pass any level. That's the first level. It's a very scary game, the audience. So if you're afraid, turn off this video. It's very scary. Hello, friends. Hello, audience. Here we immediately launched into this game. It's time we find a way out of here. The clue shows that we need to find a hatch with a ladder, but a monster will follow us. I hope he doesn't scare us at the beginning. I'm scared! Oh my god! How scary it was! And that sound! Ugh! How terrible! Let's quickly find the way out of the arrows that are shown here! There's such a big maze here! I hope we can even find a way out. There are very few clues, and you need to run along different paths and return again to the same place where we were. That is how the maze is arranged. The main thing is not to meet the same monster or it will prevent us. Now we will try all the ways that will help us get out. Okay, there's a clue here that we should take that route, but we're gonna go the other way because I think the creator is trying to confuse us like this and there's not gonna be that hatch. If we run around here now and we don't find a way out, we're gonna have to go that way because that's the only way we haven't tried it. There is a strange purple glow and more arrows appeared. I think we are on the right way, and now we will pass this level. Oh my god, it is! We have finally found this hatch, and we can get out of here. There is some kind of ventilation in which to jump. Hurry up and get there. We are moving to some building where you just need to run. I wonder where we will run. Some long road has met us, and it leads us to who knows where. But I realized that it takes us from one level to another, and it's done very nicely and pleasantly to the eye. Very cool graphics in this game, and it is comfortable to play, despite the fact that there are many scrimmers and itself is a very scary game. By the time we get to the second level, I'm tired of running straight ahead! You want to solve riddles and be scared of monsters that I fear, but only a little. Yes, I agree in Twilight Sparkle. The graphics in this game are on a level and gives its own atmosphere, which is not found in other Roblox games. This game is the only quality horror game. Hurrah! We almost made it to the second level! It really happened! Wow! There are some swimming pools and everything is made of tiles that are used in swimming pools. It's probably very slippery, but we need to think about what to do. We need to find six pieces of valves in the tubes to open a door that still needs to be found. I hope we can handle it. It's pretty dark in here, so we should use a flashlight that we have well that we have. Looks like I found the first valve to scroll. Let's do it quickly. You have to take it and press A or D buttons to scroll it. Very interesting. It remains to do the same with five more valves. We will now look for the next valves. Only I have no idea what to do to find them. There are no clues for this, and it will be hard to find one or the other valve. We have never seen a monster before and hope we never see one. 
In addition to going through the levels, we need to defend ourselves against the monsters that are hunting us. I think someone is watching us, I wonder. Who could it be? Oh my god! How scary it was now! There was not only the monster that was seen on the first level, but also some octopus. It seems that we should hide from it. It is quite slow, so we will have time to escape from it. We still need these valves. Run them to search and spin. Yeah! Let's find those valves! But now let's all be very careful, because this could be the octopus that could kill us! Be very careful and do not let us be killed! We have very few valves left. Let's go look for them. So we found another valve. Let's scroll it and run it further. We have one less valve left! Pinkie Pie, I think you're confused. There's no valve, and it looks like you're starting to hallucinate out of fear. Do not be afraid. We are with you, and always are. Even if the monster catches us, it will catch us all together, not just you. Now we have definitely found a valve that is in the water. It remains to find fewer and fewer valves. Hurry up! Very well. Let's keep looking for these valves. We have on account for as many as two and still have to find four more. It will be quite easy because these two we found in just a few minutes. It turns out that we have a few more minutes and we will move on to the next level. I hope we succeed and the monster doesn't catch us. I found just one more valve and we have exactly as much time left as we did. Oh my God! There's no way this my monster has us stumped. We have no choice where we run because now he's just gonna kill us where we run. Well, nothing. You need to accept the damage and just start from the beginning. Our valve, which we scrolled, should stay. I'm scared to look at this monster. So, let's quickly revive and think what we are doing wrong! It seems to me that there is still some tactic to find these valves. Let's look at the clue again and think about it. Nothing is clear on her, but it is clear that you need six pieces of these valves. So ran to look! Generally no idea where to look for them. I think I figured out what to do here. From above, we have these pipes, and if we go in the direction of them, we can find the valve that belongs to them. I'm just brilliant, and now let's test this theory. Hope it really works. Oh my god, we can't find anything yet. We'll go for a little pause, which you won't even notice. Oop, here we are. We've already found all the valves and scrolled them, and found an exit that's finally open. There's a green button on, which means we've completed all the assignments on this level. Hurry up and keep going! It looks like we're going swimming and we need to find a way out! We're almost at the end of this level. It's just that we can't see very well, but we'll manage. It's very deep, but we've been able to get through that depth and into a place where we need to get out. There's a big tunnel that leads to who knows where. It looks like it's almost the end of the second level. We are great at that, so quickly pass them. Okay, so we're moving on to the next third level, but we're only going to do it in the next one. During this series, we managed to pass two interesting levels, and we managed to scare us three times. This is a very interesting and scary game, which is very much breathtaking and develops logic. Hope we come back here. Like it, audience. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, audience. Today we continue to play the game Roblox again. Today we have a big open world without any plot. You're in charge. We're playing Brookhaven RP. This is a big city simulator in Roblox where you can choose any role and create your character from your story. Hi, hi. Wow. Here we are again in this wonderful game. I love Roblox so much, because here you can play a variety of games. You can play some horror games or play some kind of simulator. This is very cool, and today's mode is very interesting for me. Let's see what he is. Hello? Whoa! There's a big city like this at our disposal. Let's take a typewriter and drive around this city. Very interesting. What is here? I think that there is everything for life so many different roads. Here, I think there is not only a city, but also a suburban area. This is very cool. Wow, you can build your own house here. Let's just try this and see what kind of houses we have and what the game offers. 
Oh my god, so many different houses. There are free and also paid. But I will choose a rather modest house in which we can all fit. Let's see what he's like inside. Wow, how handsome he is. And even with his little patch. I wonder if this gate can close. You need to look at the menu of the house features or you would not want other players to come to our territory. There are buttons to turn off the lights, but I can't find the gate button. There she is. I finally found her and now you can go inside. Oh my God! How in this game all functionally? Over it probably worked hard to get such a wonderful game. So, see what is inside our little house? Wow! We are immediately met by a living room combined with a kitchen. We have a heater to heat the house, a TV, and even there is a second floor. Let's see what it is. Very interesting shows on TV, but I agree with Pinkie Pie that you need to quickly climb to the second floor. Oh my God, there are very cozy bedrooms. There are four seats for all of us and we'll fit in. Only you need to choose who we'll sleep with, and then there is no separation of one bed, and it is very good because at once would be lost beauty of the interior. So, let's go downstairs and see if there is a bathroom in our house. It should be 100%, because without it, the house is not home. I think there's a bathroom in this room. Oh my God, how beautiful it is. There is a large and spacious shower, a comfortable toilet, and even a small window that you can sometimes look into. Everything is so functionally. You can even wash your hands with an apple. So, finally, let's look at our site and what it has. You can immediately see the street laundry with a lawn mower as well as two washing machines. This was done very conveniently to not take up much space in the house. On the street are also comfortable tables for sitting, spacious field, grill, and even jacuzzi. I like living here. So now we go further to travel the world. Very interesting. What else is cool besides such houses? While driving through this city, you just want to think about nothing and enjoy this beauty. Oh my God, there is even an airport. I really like planes and I want to see what's inside. Let's go there together. I'm also interested in what the airport is like in Roblox. Will there really be a real plane and will it be possible to fly it? There is a plane, but not the fact that it will fly and it is sad. At the entrance to the airport, we meet the checkpoint. So let's take a purse and go further. We don't care what flight we're on. We just want to see how it works. Okay, now let's go on the plane ramp, and I wonder if it's going to fly at all. This ramp is so beautifully arranged, so you can expect the best from the plane. Wow, there's a separate teleport in the cabin of the plane. Very interesting. Wow, how beautiful. There is so much space. I would go on such a plane somewhere to rest. There is a kitchen and sofas instead of places to sit. You can even enter the cockpit. I wonder if it is possible to become a pilot here. Wow, we have a pilot role now and we can fly the plane. It's too bad you can't really fly over the world of Brookhaven, but it's okay. Let's get out of here and go see what's interesting. The airport is cool, but you wanna see something completely unimaginable in this world. Get back in our beautiful car and go explore the expanses of this city. Wow, local people here even ride horses. This is very interesting. Whoa, what did I see? Is that a subway in Roblox? Wow, let's see if there's actually a subway there. If this is real, then I will be shocked that I ride the subway in the game Roblox. But first, I wanna try the city mini park with swings. They are so big, I like them very much. I wonder if it's possible to make a wheel around them. Now is the time to try it. Yo, how fun is it to ride on these swings? I would play and play this game. It is very cool and fun. Would call all our friends here. I have already been so stung by these coups. Why did you shake these swings so much? I mean, I like to swing like this, but I'd like to slow down and calm down. Looks like we don't have to be pilots yet if we get really seasick on these swings. Let's get down and see what's next. There is even a city pool in which at the moment is very empty. It is a pity. I would have played with someone here. 
but nothing. It is not very important. Now I want to finally look at the metro in this city. How it works, and how realistic it is done. Run to the train. Wow, he rides alone and without a driver. That's very interesting. Only it looks like he's made to look like he's riding and can't move between stations. That's too bad. Because when you get off, the train stops at the same stop as you did. But thank God here in the cab of the driver, you can choose the station you want to come to. It's just amazing. Let's see where we're going if we've moved to some place. Let's get out of the subway and see how far we can get. The station is called Crown Point. Very interesting. What is behind this station? Oh my God, it is like a countryside where you can also put your house as well as travel in nature. There are a lot of beautiful houses here. I want to go into everything and see their interior, but we will do this probably in the next series when we will build our house. Let's hurry back to the city and finish this wonderful episode in this cool game. I personally really liked it here, especially riding the subway. In fact, this is just the best mode in Roblox I've ever seen. There is everything that is missing in some modes. Here, you can and try yourself in different professions, ride the subway, or build your own beautiful house. There are a lot of interesting cars on which you can safely ride and do not need to buy anything and work. This is just paradise life. Ah, uh, it even has an animation panel that you can use for some situations or to shoot some movie. It's just a super game and I want to come back to it again. If you like this game too, then like it and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you soon. Girls, let's see what's in the drawers here. I hope there's actually a lighter in here. So, there's a very strange sound. Girls, I don't like it. Ah! What it is, why it ate us, how did this even happen? God! Hello, dear viewers of our channel. Flutter on the line. Today I'm with my friends Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Sparkle will play in Roblox. Uh, girls, today we will play in a very interesting mode. At least you understand that we are about to have a crazy passage of this game. Wow! Hi, girls! It's so good to see you! Finally, we all got together to play a game together. Girls, today we're going to play Roblox, and the mode is called Doors. Whew! I've heard quite a bit about this game. Let's see what's in store for us. Girls, here we are getting on the elevator. Looks like our fun walkthrough of this game is about to begin. Honestly, I'm not even a little nervous. How about you? What do you think about this mode? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Girls, let's hurry up and start our walk through those doors. I'm really curious what this game could have in store for us. Uh, I hope this game will be pretty scary. I like scary games quite a lot. So, looks like this game has some kind of in-game store. Girls, do you think maybe we should buy something from the store? I think that would be a pretty good idea. Especially since we even have some currency in this store. Pinkie Pie, you're shopping again. Let's just go first and see what this game is and then maybe buy something. Let's take our time, please. We'll still have time to buy something. Okay, girls, our walkthrough has already started and you're still discussing some in-game purchases. Maybe you'll get a little distracted and see that we've actually already started playing. Let's not waste time on trivia. We need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. It's pretty scary in here. Girls, let's get a move on. We need to find a lighter or a flashlight because it might be very dark up ahead. We really need to find something that can give off light. Yeah, Pinkie Pie's right. Girls, we really need to find some kind of flashlight. Let's just search all the closets we see. Maybe we can find a lighter. All right, girls, let's not get distracted. Everyone, let's go find some coins and a flashlight. Girls, I'm pretty much loving this regimen already. It's pretty interesting, except I can't figure out when we're going to be intimidated anymore. We just go and go and go. We can't even find a flashlight or a lighter. Let's just get together and find it. Do you hear a very strange sound? I don't like it very much. It means something bad. Girls, I think we're about to be attacked. Let's be careful and hide if anything happens. Whew. I feel really scared. Girls, it's really, really scary out here. I underestimated this mode in Roblox. I thought it would be pretty fun, but it's really scary. So, why are we hearing some weird noises? It reminds me of something, but I can't figure out what it is. Okay, let's hope for luck. Hope we don't die. Girls, let's see what's in the drawers here. I hope there's actually a lighter in here. So, there's a very strange sound. Girls, I don't like it. Ah! What it 
it is, why it ate us, how did this even happen, God? Okay. Girls, let's try to play these doors again. Only I didn't really like them, to be honest. We got killed by some monster we didn't even see. I didn't understand how we were killed. Just started some terrible sound and we died immediately. How to play against that? Pinkie Pie, how do you still not get it? We heard a very strange sound and everything was dark. We should have hid in the closet and then we would have been fine. Let's do exactly that next time. People, get in our elevator. There's only two of us. The more people, the better. Please come in. So, why isn't anyone coming in? Girls, this is really weird. Okay, we found a friend and we're gonna survive this crazy mode with him. I hope he plays well because that way we will have at least some chance of staying alive. So, here we are. Girls, I suggest that this time again do not buy anything in this store. Everything that can be bought in it we can already find. And these bolts we may still need, so let's save them. Okay, let's go on an adventure. Let's go, buddy. Girls, I hope we don't die so quickly this time and can at least make it through 30 doors. That would be really pretty awesome. All right, girls, enough with the distractions. Let's hurry up and get through this mode. I want to get revenge on that monster that killed us. Mmm, I'd like to get revenge on that monster too. He really scared me a lot. I'm still shaking. All right, girls, I'm sure this time we'll do it right. The main thing is to believe in it, and then it will definitely happen. Girls, what do you think about this regimen? Fluttershy, to be honest, I think this game is kind of weird. It's too confusing. There's some weird monsters. I didn't even realize how we got killed. I, I don't like it. I don't really understand the game. We just walk around and open doors and someone is trying to kill us. But why would we do that? Hmm. You know what? I agree with Pinkie Pie. This game is really, really weird. It's too confusing. Why can't we just sit in the same room or stay in the elevator? Why can't we just sit in the closet all the time? It's all too weird. I hope we can figure out all of our questions as we go through. Girls, to be honest, I don't understand this game either. I thought it was scary, and I haven't seen anything scary yet. It's too childish. If we were scared, then I would be interested in playing this game. But for now, I don't understand what we have to do in this game. If there were more frequent scrimmers, it would be much more interesting, although we would expect to see them, but now we do not expect them. And they sometimes appear, in general, I want to be scared, the game, please. Okay, girls, enough with the small talk. We're in some kind of event right now. I can't see where we're supposed to go. Girls, let's please pull ourselves together and stay focused. We are just now saying that we don't like the game, but we need to play it. We need to get revenge. Buddy, where'd you go? We have to go the other way. Turn around and follow me or you'll get lost. Girls, we finally managed to open this door. I'm so glad. Okay. Now we need to find this monster that made us start this game all over again. He can't go unpunished. Fluttershy, actually a friend went right side. What are you talking about? Do you even know what you're saying? Okay, we're in some kind of room. Looks like we're gonna have to rearrange the paintings. Let's do it. Okay, and here we are putting the picture just right. Our friend did too. Wow, girls look fast. I think we found the secret path. Let's hurry up and follow it. Maybe there we can find that monster and get revenge on him. Pinkie Pie, you've had it with your revenge. Why can't you live peacefully? How are we ever going to get back at him? He looked pretty big, much bigger than us. Girls, what's that sound? Let's hurry up and hide in the closet. Ah, uh, this time we were able to hide from that monster. It was really quite risky, but we did it. Girls, let's start saying goodbye. Time is running out. Thank you for this crazy passage. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Subscribers, don't forget to put a like under the video if you liked it. We will be very pleased. All right, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. Wow, girls, this walkthrough was really quite interesting. Thank you for it. Let's get together sometime next time and we'll continue from this very moment. Ah, what is that screamer? I didn't expect to see it. Viewers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be very pleased. See you soon. Subscribers, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your opinion about this mode in the comments. We will be very interested to read what you think about this game. All right, good luck. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video a lot because we worked very hard on it. All right, that was Fluttershy and I'll see you in the new video.